That's why it was, there it goes. Check one, two. Hey there, YouTube. I am out just west of Broadhead, Wisconsin, tiny little town. And this is Rustic Road 90 with a broken sign. Hopefully we'll find another, hopefully we'll find another sign. So when I put this into the GPS today, the, hold on, let me bring the Harley app back up here. Resume. When I put the GPS data in to get down here, it's about an hour and a half, hour, 45 minute drive. The uh, GPS told me it was paved or not paved. Or, it, yeah. It's like, oh, that's going to be an interesting path. I didn't know it was going to be this little side road here. I was actually I was flying down this road here, and I realized I was just, the GPS said the turn. It's like, what? And uh, hit the brakes and... And it was fun. All right, let's get this guy situated. Is it, uh, I'm having problems with this Euro 7. running out of time. I had to charge it on the way down here. Okay. There we go. We'll set the rule of thirds. I think we're good. had I have some vacation day to burn and I was looking at this week because I'm really in a struggle for next week or the I basically got a month and a week to burn up five days or so so I was looking at Friday it's like yeah maybe I could go camping but then I looked at the weather it's like totally rainy it wasn't gonna be good and then I was looking at tomorrow's data which is today it was supposed to be sunny in the 70s. It was going to be cold in the morning. I think when I started out this morning, it was in the 40s. And it's like, well, I think I'm going to see if I can get a vacation day in for today. So it was a last minute call. I hate doing that to my guys. Kind of need a little dirt bike for this, I think. See how this goes. This is a legit road, not a side path in somebody's land. This is a legit um, city, county, state road, or whatever. I need to figure out a better way to secure my my GoPro here. It's starting to wobble way too much. for that. I'll figure out a better way. It's probably in the next video. You will arrive at your destination on the left in a quarter of a mile. So I just went on the website and I just picked a rustic road that I haven't been on. And this was it. I did not research it in any way. We're out in western Wisconsin. Western's Southwest Wisconsin. I don't. I assume we're fairly close to the 
Mississippi, but I really don't know. This is actually pretty fun. I'm concerned about the bike because it just can't handle this stuff very well. All right. You have reached your destination on the left. time doing this. I wanted to bring my drone with me today, but I was out flying it yesterday and I used up all the batteries. So I didn't have any and I wasn't thinking through enough to get it all ready for today. Gorgeous day. Perfect fall weather riding. This would have been fun with the drone to try the follow me because there's no cars out here obviously. A cake. Up next is Mill Road. I don't get down to this part of Wisconsin too often. I think the last time I was down here I was with my wife in 2013. We did a three-state trip down to Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and we rode up the Mississippi. So I don't, I don't know which way to turn for the rustic road. It's not telling me. Um, let me look on the GPS or uh, on the phone real quick. All right. So we came in on here, did that little jaunt. So we turn left on Mill. So we'll go left that way. And then we turn right on Preston. I'm actually starting to get warm. What's the temperature today? No, right now. 68. So hopefully this has some pavement. Because this has, I don't like its camber or the slant. And it's not. All right, let's do this. Fun. This looks like it has a similar, similar path. Straight, right, left, and out. I love these rustic roads. It's, it gives you a really good reason to get out and explore. Explore the state, just to get out, reason to ride. It's one of the reasons I do it. I have the patch now, I should show that to you guys sometime. I don't think I've ever put the patch up on the video before. I have more than enough, way more than enough to, for the cert certification. So now it's just a matter of, which I have not sent out for yet. So now it's really just a matter of try and get them all. It's gonna be pretty tough to get the ones up north. I'm gonna have to create some actual trips to get those. actually not fun because the gravel is actually quite heavy grade. I prefer the thinner grade. I want to stay
stay in the center of the road. You probably can't see it on the video, but the, the crown on the road is actually pretty steep. It's not a very flat road. So if I'm on the edge, I could easily sweep out. The thing is, is if you got the proper bike, this is nothing. But when you have a thousand pound, the bike by itself, I believe dry weight is 900 pounds. Put fuel in it and my fat ass on it. You're well over a thousand pounds. Street tires. And lots of torque. This is awesome right here though. This is beautiful. This is definitely worth doing. Glad I came off for this one. For some reason I don't know why. The mount on the GoPro for my handlebar is really wacky. Like it's gonna fall off. It is gonna fall off. I better stop. Alright, I'm glad I looked at that. I think it's broken. I was wondering past couple of videos why it was there it goes <laughs> I was wondering why in the past couple of videos it was so wobbly and there it went it broke off all right let's put it right there I have no idea if you can see me or not Another reason for a cup holder. All right, what is this? what road is this? This is. So we want to go to. So this is. I think this is. Um, So that's okay road right there, okay road. All right, so this is really the end of the rustic road. Rustic Road 90, my friends. And we're back to Tarmac. What I want though is a uh, rustic road sign. I wonder if there's a sign over there. Let's go check. is a rustic road sign but it doesn't have its number so that one was the only one all right guys well thanks for joining me today on this little pull off here i am going to put at least this camera away i'll leave the other ones out just in case i find something i want to ride through well that was a lot of fun all right guys we'll see you in the next one